Friday everyone, this is Kababayan Today. Ito po ang kauna-unahan at kaisa-isang pang-araw-araw na produksyon para sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika where this afternoon we're gonna be talking about entertainment and travel. Huh? We're trying to get you uh, prepared to escape for the weekend. Of course, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday as well. My name is Janelle Sawyer, Kababayan in Los Angeles. And our first guests this afternoon are Kababayan Prides. Uh, they are part of a cast uh, that are well, that's working on a sci-fi web series series. It's American produced, but they do speak Tagalog. How did you pull that off? <laughs> well, first of all, I don't speak any Tagalog, uh -huh. so um, this was the first time I've had to, mm -hmm. and it was very challenging. Thanks to my coach here, yeah. who was oh. helping me phrase the words. <laughs> I was so nervous because I was like, oh gosh, you know, my Filipino aunties and uncles are going to be so embarrassed that I'm not pronouncing it properly. And I forgot to say, very beautiful people joining us. How's that to end your week, Jalyn? Oh, We've been here before. You've yeah. met her before in Aries. Of course, we're going to be talking to you in just a little while as well. Jalyn, you've been here before. You yeah. sang for us. Yes. Uh, I think you did a little bit of dancing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, what's, you know, uh, catch up? It's, you know, well, first of all, thank you for having me. It was an awesome opportunity. I got to bring my dancers here and perform right here on the stage. Oh, wow. um, so, yes, yeah, since then, I've just, I actually just fell right back in love with acting and just a lot of opportunities have come up. And um, this year in particular has just been uh, a, a huge blessing. I was just, uh, I have a recurring role on General Hospital right now. So I play a Bitchy, if I could no. say that. Yes, you can say I that. I could say bitchy. Yeah. Okay, I play a bitchy um, book editor named Agnes Chu on the yeah. show, and um, they asked me to come back. So I did a couple episodes at the beginning of the year, and then I was just on a show with Ariana Grande, um, mm -hmm. Sam and Cat, uh -huh. um, which is on Nickelodeon. And, you know, episodic season has started up, up again, and it's just, there's nothing like getting to play all kinds of characters in, in acting, and which is what I got to do with this. So proud of you. You're Thank talking you. about, with this, is uh, this American-produced uh, sci-fi yeah. web series called Record Keeper. Mm -hmm. Eris, what's your role in this uh, web series? Well, my role uh, in camera, well, on camera, I play... Um, Jalen's counterpart. We're both bad guys in yeah. this in this web series. Okay, bitchy bad guy. Yeah, oh, really pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I see a trend yeah. here. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. um, but I also helped uh, do the stunt coordinating and the fight choreography. So stunt coordinating as well. So yeah. okay, Jalen, singer, uh, recording artist, and then fell in love, fell back in love, and acting mm -hmm. into acting. Um, model. Model first, and then acting. Super model. Super no. model. No. What no. is it about <laughs> acting? That you oh, love. Man. I know you said, you know, getting to play different roles, different characters. Yeah. What about, isn't it easier to just, you know, look good and smile? I, 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 I suppose, yeah, it is, yeah. I suppose. But there's just something more fulfilling in acting, being part of something, especially, for example, like The Record Keeper. Okay. It's such a beautifully made web series, and there's so many components, there's so many... It's just, it's just great, and to be part of that, and to slip into a character and be someone else for the period of filming. Right. Oh, it's so much fun. And it's sci-fi, so yeah. it's so so fun. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know. Uh, being an Asian American in entertainment, you know, for one, being Filipino, you don't get an opportunity to play Filipino. Mm -hmm. This is the first time mm -hmm. I've gotten to play Filipino. And then just, you know, the icing on the cake is we're speaking Tagalog, exactly. too. Exactly. How is it possible that you're speaking? Did you write the script? It, did you write Tagalog into the script? Because I know that the script writer, right. uh, the creator, is uh, not even right. Filipino. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, he translated it. Yeah. Well, what he did was he actually made the role specifically for us. Mm -hmm. wow. And so he's like, you know, how how would it be if you guys spoke nothing but Tagalog in the whole thing? And I was like, well, uh, hold on, uh, right. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we're, we're playing <laughs> angels. Right. Okay. So. If you really bad think, angels, we're playing fallen, fallen angels. Yeah. Okay, all right. But Record Keeper is a it, the show is about angels. Okay. So if you really think about angels, there is no color lines. Right. The, you know, angels should be able to speak anything, right. be anybody. So, in the Record Keeper, it's such a beautiful show because you literally are. We speak 20 different languages, about 20, right? 20. Including sign language. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, including sign language, and it's just such a multicultural cast. For me personally. I mean, yes, I've done all these other big shows and these films, but I have a huge 
a, a huge soft spot for this for this production because it's just been a dream come true to be able to do sci-fi fantasy and be a part of a multicultural cast right. where it doesn't matter what color you are right. and get to speak our native you know Tagalog. But you, when you say that you don't speak Tagalog and you had to for this script, yeah. what, how is that? Because I, I was born and raised in the Philippines, so sometimes I would speak, I would think in Tagalog, <laughs> and then we'll have to translate. And uh -huh. then you know, what about you when you were learning the mm -hmm. lines? Did you have to understand first? Yes. And where was the confusion from? So actually, Eris, so Eris would teach me the inflection and the pronunciation, because mm -hmm. that I just had to get down first. Okay, yeah. And honestly, it was so stressful. Yeah. I'm like, saying the lines over and over, right. and I'm like, I don't think this is how my Lola sounds when she says these right. things. Right. But she probably has never said did the you, words like Did that. you find yourself calling your mom? I did. So how do you pronounce it? My mom's it? born here, so she doesn't speak Tagalog. Uh. And my dad's from Cebu, who speaks uh. Visaya. So in English, yeah. In English. So I had to call Lola okay. and Lola right. to help me with this. Right. And actually, so I had to really understand the words that I was saying so I knew what I would, uh, how I would express right. my feelings. Yeah. It, and you spe know. speaking of understanding, let's take a look at uh, a clip, this clip, and to understand what they're talking about also. Where is he? Put the block over now. Go to the museum. I'll call. I'll call close to one if I do. See. I'd be happy to talk with you any time, Uncle Bula. My door is always open. Same goes for you, Manisiva. Gaya, move. It looks scary. Ooh, <laughs> okay, that's the first time I saw that. Really? I sound so right. scary. I know. It looks scary too. I right. know. We're not. We're not nice. No, we're, we're not very, nice. So. We're very bad. Right. Very bad people. Okay. Because you're yeah. bad. Well, yeah. Because you're bad. You get to join me again for the next segment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so stay with us.